Wouldn't it be cool if we could know why humans have looked at the sky and what parts of the sky they find most interesting? Well, the ADS All Sky Survey is a new project that's funded by NASA that lets us do just that. NASA itself has been around since 1958, but people have been writing scholarly journal articles about the sky for hundreds of years, and a service from NASA called ADS has access to all of those articles from the 1800s on. A different service in France called CDS has access to the mentions of objects inside of those articles. And if you put those services together, you can get a really cool interactive view of why and how the sky has been studied. Let's take a look here by clicking where it says View in Worldwide Telescope. And we'll get kind of a funky view of the sky that looks sort of speckled. And we move it around and we say, this is uh, kind of strange. We seem to have an image, but then we have something overlaid on the image. So let's move this slider this way so we can see just a beautiful infrared view of some of the galactic plane here in the sky. Okay? But if I slide this slider the other way, I get a very strange speckled view that looks almost like blurry stars. Well, those are not blurry stars. Those are white points that indicate the density of articles written over time on the sky. And right now we're looking at all times. And here's an interesting object, which I happen to know is a galaxy. But let's slide it back the other way so you can see this galaxy in the infrared. If I'd rather see that galaxy in the optical, I can click here and change to just an optical image of the galaxy. But now if I move the slider back, you can see this very strange pattern, which shows a heat map, it's called, of the density of articles written about that galaxy, which is the Large Magellanic Cloud. If I click this button here, I can zoom in to see some individual papers that are making up that map. And I can click on one of them, and I can see that that's a source in the Large Magellanic Cloud called NGC 1971. I can look up all the data about it on a service called Sinbad, or I can actually open all the papers uh, that contributed to that map in this other NASA-funded service uh, called ADS. But let's go back here to the survey and close this all up. And let me show you that the same kind of information can be viewed in another service, another sky viewer called the Latin. And this one will look a little bit different. This one uses a color default for the maps. But again, I can zoom out, and I can zoom way, way out, and I can actually see the whole sky. And I can see the density of articles on the sky. And again, I mentioned that we can see why uh, particular regions of the sky have been studied. And by that, I meant that we can look and see, are people interested in, for example, galaxies? And so in a moment here, you'll see papers about galaxies come up. And you see that the distribution of those will look different than if I say, where are papers about stars? Okay, so see? So those are confined more to the um, plane of the galaxy down here, which we can see is the galaxy if I toggle on an optical view. Isn't that beautiful? And then, so let's go back to the all view. I can also just skip right back and forth between, again, the Worldwide Telescope version and the Aladdin version, which I was looking at a moment ago. So let's go back here to the Worldwide Telescope version. There's the same section of the galaxy I was looking at a moment ago. And um, I can go through, you know, different uh, wavelength views of the sky, and I can try to understand, you know, why the distribution of articles looks the way it does by looking at images of the sky at different wavelengths and try to figure out what people were studying. But what's really cool is that you can even see what people were studying as a function of time. So this map here is showing you basically all of the articles, but I can change this slider here, and I can say, you know, what was interesting in 1997? What was interesting in 2001? What was interesting in 2005? Etc.